The following is brought to you by Element 14, the electronics community where you can connect and collaborate with top engineers from around the world. Join now at element14.com slash presents. Hi, I'm DJ from Element 14 Presents. Greetings programs, Matthew here from Element 14 Presents. And I'm Phil from the Element 14 community, and today we are talking about the brand spanking new Raspberry Pi 4B. Roll the clip. Okay, so that's it, the new Raspberry Pi Model B. Uh, it's got the new gigabit ethernet, it's got the dual HDMI, which is so cool, at 4K. We've got USB 3, we've got some USB 2 ports in there as well. And then the big change is we've got the uh, USB-C header as well for the power, uh, which is pretty cool, it's five volts at uh, three amps, which is pretty meaty. Uh, Matt, what do you think? Loving it. Uh, the ethernet capabilities, especially for like DIY kind of uh, like NAS drives, like I could really use rebuilding my whole uh, network drive setup. So uh, this new uh, true gigabit, uh, not having to fight the USB for bandwidth, that's going to be a game changer there. Uh, the other thing, seven series Cortex processor, like what, three times the speed of the uh, 3B plus right now. And uh, that's that's going to be fun. Uh, well, at the moment, it's coming out in three flavors, uh, one gigabyte of RAM, two and four. Uh, obviously, the first uh, one gigabyte is going to be priced at thirty five dollars, which is really important, keeping it at that price point. Um, as well as, you know, you mentioned the processor there. It's one point five gigahertz processor, quad core. So pretty cool. DJ, what do you think? I'm already in love. You said all the things I, I wanted to hear. The big thing for me is USB-C. The power budget has always been a pain point for me because I do lots of portable Pi projects or just higher current things. And if you have four USB ports, you should be able to power four USB devices that need more current than just like a mouse or keyboard. So that is gonna be uh, a big difference um, for the projects that I do. I'm also super stoked about the dual 4K HDMI, although I really wanna see how it performs under load. That's gonna be the real test to see how it handles, you know, uh, playback and just, you know, doing all kinds of cool gooey stuff on the background and see how well it can render. That's cool. Um, so you mentioned the USB ports. Obviously, there are two uh, USB 3 and two USB 2. Um, the USB 3 is, is kind of saved for anything that's fast and is power hungry because you get more juice out of it, whereas the USB 2, save it for your keyboard and mouse. So you guys have created some cool Raspberry Pi projects for us in the past. Now that we talked about the new specs on the Raspberry Pi 4B, 
Are there any projects you'd like to revisit or are there any projects that you think this new Raspberry Pi would be good for? So the first first thing that kind of comes to mind here is the the Zybernaut. That was the putting the Windows 98 on the, the portable computer thing. So I'm thinking with the faster processor, a little more RAM, I think we're going to have a little bit better emulation out of this. So I'm curious to see how Windows 98 will run. Uh, on the 4 versus the 3B plus or the 4B plus versus the 3B plus. And then of course, you know, the question that everybody's going to want to know is, is it going to effectively run PlayStation and Nintendo 64 GameCube Dreamcast emulation? Because we haven't had that playable yet on the uh, on the Raspberry Pi. So that's going to be a, a big question, I think, in the community as well. Cool. Uh, DJ, what do you think? It's literally serendipitous because like two weeks ago, before before I found out about this, I was recently reimagining a custom arcade game uh, that I had started years ago, and now I want to make it with two displays. And I was thinking, well, okay, I guess I'll just have to use two separate processors, but now we've got two display outputs, which is literally perfect. So that's something I'm hoping to put to the test really soon. Likewise, just the extra processing power, you know, I just, uh, give me more flops. You know, and I want I want more flops. I want to do uh, more interactive projects uh, using OpenCV uh, and just local speech recognition. So getting as much of that as low latency and you know as low power consumption as possible. Uh, this will be the one. I think this will be the sweet spot. Want to know more about the Raspberry Pi 4 Model B or want to see us put it through its paces? Then join us on the Element 14 community at element14.com/raspberrypi. We'll see you there.